The Simpsons have rich characters and a rich history. And with Homer being the quote unquote main character of the series, he really has an amazing group of characters that derive from him. I mean, his work at the power plant, as well as his time at Moe's, I mean, the whole show could just be about Homer. In this series, I've been looking at which actors could bring these wonderful 2D characters into that third dimension. Obviously, this is just for fun, but who could possibly play these characters in live action? But before we get started today, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Surfshark. Now, Surfshark is a VPN that allows you to protect your data from it being breached, which is great. But if I'm being honest, I mainly use it to change my IP address so I can watch things that aren't available in my country. Like, let's say you want to watch some turtles and you live in Canada. Well, you only have one option, so you're kind of out of luck. Or you could change your IP address to appear like you're from the States. Then you have more options as well as the 2012 series to watch. And the great thing about Surfshark is it allows unlimited devices. So use promo code BRIANSEEKER. Because right now until December 31st, you get 85% off as well as three months free. Link in the description below for more details. As for the castings today, we're looking at the friends and co-workers of Homer. So we're casting Mo, Lenny, Carl, Barney, Mr. Burns, and Smithers. So let's recast The Simpsons for live action. First up, let's tackle Mo Sizlak. Now, the one thing that sticks out about Mo, and that kind of comes up time and time again, is that he's ugly. I mean, there's many storylines about just how ugly he is and him pretty much being undateable. So naturally, when people look in Hollywood, they look at those who stand out. A lot of people are talking about Steve Buscemi or even Willem Dafoe, but I debate that neither feel right. They don't have that roughness. Well, you might actually be surprised to find out that Mo is roughly based on a real life comedian. And when you're talking about the live action, there's no better choice than Rich Hall. I mean, he just is Mo. It's unclear, but a lot of people see him as the inspiration completely. He's just perfect. He's angry, unsettling, and honestly, just Mo. And then every four years, somebody else tries to become president and either they become president or you never hear from them again, ever, <laughs> ever. We had a guy named Mitt and a guy named Newt running for president in the last election. Mitt and Newt. That's the caliber of material we have to deal with in America. So Rich Hall as Mo. Now, if we're talking about Mo in his tavern, it only makes sense to talk about the regulars next. And the most prominent one of all is Barney. Now, it's important to note that Barney has a sweet side, but mainly, he's just an alcoholic. Like, I don't even know if he has a job. Like, I know he gets his money for medical research and being a guinea pig from time to time, but he kind of just lives at Mo's. Now he is a childhood friend of Homer, as well as he's had a lot of storylines devoted to himself. I mean, his voice is angelic and he definitely has depth to him. And with that sweet nature in that drunken state, my mind first goes to Zach Galifianakis. But there's actually a better option out there, because if you've seen It's Always Sunny, you know Bill. Or by his real name, Lance Barber. I mean, he's perfect for this. In his downfall in the show, he shows us every side that Barney would have. He's cleaned up and his, let's call it regular side. I think he could really pull off every storyline that Barney could have, his time in the B-sharps, and really him on and off the bottle. Hey, hey, thanks for calling, man. <laughs> so, where are the kids? I can't wait to see those little rugrats. Been forever. I'm sure they're uh, around somewhere. Go ahead and mingle, and maybe you'll find them. My kids aren't really here, are they? Uh, no. No, I'm not alive. Thank God. <laughs> it's a good shit house, right, guys? <laughs> so, Lance Barber as Barney. Next up, let's tackle Carl Carlson. He's somewhat of a straight man in comparison to Homer's ridiculousness, but he's always put in funny situations, which makes that humor stand out. He should be roughly the same age as the rest of the cast here, and someone who can just feel like they could sit in one scene or deliver one line or just be a background character. I end up deciding on Tim Meadows, who feels exactly like this. He can sit in the background and be an everyman or steal a scene and be hilarious. I think he'd be a wonderful friend throughout the series without taking any thunder away from our Homer. Never in my 14 years as an educator have I seen such behavior. And from young ladies, I got parents calling me on the phone asking, did someone get shot? I ought to cancel your spring fling. No. Now I'm not gonna do that because we've already paid the DJ. So Tim Meadows as Carl Carlson. Next up, let's tackle Lenny. Now, Lenny is like Carl, but just dumber, more naive. He's just simple. He needs to work well with Carl, but definitely stand alone. Now, I think Will Forte is perfect for this. I think he perfectly just portrays that naive, dumb nature and really works as an innocent character. Bill Miller, what's gotten into you? I don't know what you're talking about, Carol. Just coming down for dinner as I do. So you got rid of the beard? Yes, I did. Oh, that was kind of cool. You did? Oh. Yeah. Your chin is too pointy. You just need something to smooth it out. And you feel the same way about Yeah, you look smaller. Weaker. OK. <laughs> Who do you look like? Katie Lang. Oh, Katie. It's Katie Lang. Isn't it? 
Katie Lang, the, the female country singer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think he'd work really well with Tim Meadows, but again, not taking away from those main players. So Will Forte as Lenny Leonard. Next up, let's do Mr. Burns. Now it goes without saying that Mr. Burns is evil. Like if you picture him doing one thing, he has his hands clasped together saying excellent. Now most of the people I cast within The Simpsons have a background in comedy because at its heart, it's a comedy. But Mr. Burns, however, it doesn't really matter. He's just old, evil, and really just conniving. I decided to go with Charles Dance here, who looks perfect for this. He is a little bit less frail than Mr. Burns, but he's got that same downturned nose, that evil brow, and that lack of hair. I think he would be great here as a no-nonsense character and someone who just makes everyone's lives a living hell. I wanted to carry you into the sea and let the waves wash you away. Instead, I let you live. And I brought you up as my son. Because you're a Lannister. It's also important to note that Charles Dance isn't afraid of comedy either. He's not afraid of being silly. I mean, he's cross-dressed before, as well as read passages from Fifty Shades of Grey. Do you want a regular vanilla relationship with no kinky f at all? <laughs> My mouth drops open. Kinky f I squeak. Yeah, kinky f great. I can't believe you said that. So Charles Dance as Mr. Burns. Lastly, we have Waylon Smithers, a yes man and friendly, but it's most important that he's loyal to Mr. Burns. Now Smithers is nothing like Mr. Burns. Although he'll defend him, he's kind, loving, and generally wants to do the right thing. I want someone who feels that way, like Eugene Levy. Now, unfortunately, Eugene Levy is getting up there in age. I think he's a little too old for this role, but that nature, that feeling. I end up deciding on Andrew Daly, who is someone who can definitely do comedy, but definitely can work as that yes man. But he's also portrayed as that kind of soft person in power. The person who takes their job a little too seriously, but has that good heart. Excuse me, young man. What is your name? Rave Catch Dorian. What did you just say to me? It's my last name. I'm new. Well, being new does not entitle you to swagger in here with no clothes on. I'm, I'm wearing clothes. Every single thing you have on flies in the face of rule number 22. He's got this subtly frantic nature to him that works well for this, but mainly that submissive nature that we need every step of the way. Swiss milk chocolate with honey and almond nougat. In my opinion, it's the honey that really makes the difference. So Andrew Daly is Waylon Smithers. There's my casting for Homer's co-workers, friends, and everything in between. Next, we're gonna be getting to the family members and the neighbors of The Simpsons. So who shouldn't I miss within that? Like, are you a big fan of Duffman and really wanna see him cast? Let me know in the comments below, because eventually I'll just have a roundup episode of all the random ones I never got to. As always though, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.